In this video we're going to talk through how you can get started creating some games using the Python Turtle Graphics module, which is hopefully something you've played around with before. Um, it's really quick and simple to do drawing, um, so you should know already, if you want to draw with Turtle Graphics, you just import Turtle, um, you create a new variable, I always call it T, but you can call it whatever you like. I'd go for something short, because you end up using it quite a lot. You go inside the Turtle module, create a new turtle object, and then you're ready to start drawing. Um, so let's go forwards 100, and that's it. That's all you need to know to be able to draw. Um, but you'll notice that the drawing window disappears straight away. To stop that from happening, the very last line of your drawing do um, t uh, turtle dot exit on click. That means that it will stay there and it will wait until you either close the window or you can click. Um, if you're converting a game that you've written um, just with text, uh, then you'll often have to, um, to display messages to the screen. Um, and you can do that in two ways. You can either say turtle dot uh, title and say things like press um, sorry, click to exit, you can put whatever message you want in the title bar so that puts the message up here or you can do t.write um, and that text will appear wherever your cursor is at the moment so if you want to put the text at the top you would just have to do t.go to uh, and then let's work out the coordinates, so let's try 100 to 100, see where that is um, but notice go to will try and draw a line from where you are. If you just want to put the text there, you have to do things like e pen up beforehand. So we can draw a line and then put some text here. Um, okay, so that's fine. That will let you be able to draw lines and shapes and colours and everything. You can follow all of the commands in the quick start guide on here. Um, but if you end up drawing anything um, slightly more complicated, like um, the Snakes and Ladders game, uh, if you want to draw something like this, uh, you don't want to have to wait while Python Turtle draws each line really, really slowly. You want it to come up pretty quickly. Um, so that's a bit of a problem in, in Turtle Graphics because it animates things slowly. So show you what I mean. Let's have a loop um, that does something 200 times. So for i in range 200. Let's just move forwards by 3 pixels um, and turn by a random amount. So t dot right um, angle, let's make a random angle dot random int between minus 15 and 15. So sometimes it goes anti-clockwise, sometimes it goes clockwise. I'm going to import the random library. Okay, so so far we've got a loop that goes around 200 times and just draws a squiggle. Um, and you'll see that when Turtle Graphics is drawing, it does it um, slowly. And this is deliberate. It, Turtle Graphics is designed so that you can see things slow enough for you to be able to follow your algorithm, um, which is fine. But if you're doing a game, you want it to go much, much faster. And you can do this um, by straight after you've Im uh, imported the turtle library and made your turtle drawing object, just do turtle.tracer00. Zero, zero. And that says don't wait at all in between each drawing call, just draw it as fast as you possibly can. Okay, um, so that will help you with most of your drawing. Um, and it is possible uh, to draw any um, game graphics with Python Turtle. It's not pretty, uh, it's not particularly efficient, and it's certainly not fast, but it will work for you. And remember, in your AQA controlled assessments, there's no points at all, no marks for how good your game looks. So Turtle Graphics is a bonus.